Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, last few days I took for my uh, relaxation and exercises. Uh, I wasn't being in the mood to create a video. I'm sorry for that. I had to find the mood. And uh, I'm always more happy uh, when the Christmas time is coming. And I hope that many people have the same feeling that Christmas even... Uh, the time before it's here not to stress us but to give us peace and happy feeling i really hope that many people feel that way and more people will feel that way the better christmas will be coming and for that i sat uh, behind my computer and i have created this one this is like a printable on my etsy it's advent cal calendar with the beautiful and easy closure which can be done from paper and the, the advent calendar it's very dimensional and it's a great space in those boxes as you can see here are boxes from the 1 to 24th of december the number 25th is here in the back and uh, it does have beautiful space in this frame for editing some gift or maybe some beautiful picture of your family there is plenty of amazing images and gorgeous little boxes and you will have every uh, every print every pages you need for creating this one in the files which are included with these uh, collections i do have collection this collection in a4 size and also in u.s letter size with all images with background prints these uh, kind of like ledger paper or a simple uh, brown paper or this beautiful kind of like rustic blue paper so all prints are included and now i'm coming to share with you hopefully easy to follow a tutorial how you can create this box enjoy it and thank you so much for joining me i'm gonna start to work on this advent calendar from the boxes uh, i have printed out all boxes on a 200 gsm card um, probably it will be better to print it on a higher amount or a thicker cardstock i will say 300 gsm cardstock will be amazing and it will be nice and sturdy so i did print out all boxes and then uh, i did fussy cut out all these boxes that was quite a job uh, and then i used distress ink from spectrum noir a rustic brown to distress all the edges you don't have to do it uh, the colors on the prints are really beautiful and nice and vintagey i just wanted to add the the edging uh, always it's good to have some edging on these prints also on my uh, few papers i forgot to make a background print but then uh, most of the boxes i made kind of like double-sided print where on one side was uh, the box image and on other side was the image of a ledger paper uh, there is quite lots of off cuts or leftovers and i don't like to waste my paper so that's why i made this background print so i can use that ledger paper uh, as a decoration with clusters and decoration in my junk journals uh, then i did glued all these boxes and then uh, some boxes they do have kind of like notch i had to cut those uh, edges of the hinges out then i have print out once i had all boxes done i have print out uh, back papers and side papers you will have uh, all images in uh, in attached files so once i had uh, fussy cut out these i started to put them together so i started with top and bottoms uh, from future boxes or future uh, sides of my book box i did folded uh, 
brown images on the half and then I have folded the hinges around this fold hopefully it does make sense just follow uh, the video what you can see and it will help you to uh, put all these together the brown uh, paper have to be folded all and glued together so that way you will reinforce uh, these sides and then those white hinges uh, they are here to make sure that you can glue all these pieces together and create one large box in which I will store all those small boxes and also I did put images which are included on small boxes in the large background paper which you can see on the left side and uh, that will help me to navigate later uh, how I should store those small boxes in that large box hopefully my explanation makes sense so once I had folded all these uh, side papers I have folded also uh, white hinges on the decorative background paper and I'm gonna be using those white uh, side hinges to glue my brown uh, brown sides definitely make sure that you will watch my video it's much more understandable when you watch what I am doing than just listening what I'm saying because my explanation can be confusing I hope that you will actually enjoy to create this uh, this advent uh, advent calendar i did enjoy it uh, i had to swap few things through to that process of creating but i'm really happy with that final result uh, i'm definitely gonna do uh, some similar advent calendars in the future because i love this setup maybe i will create uh, different sizes of boxes but i will definitely create some kind of this ca advent calendar once again in the future i love that setup i love those boxes the sizes of those small boxes are quite big i was uh, surprised uh, how big boxes i can fit uh, in it and uh, it gives me a nice uh, space for uh, advent uh, little gifts so here you can see uh, that i am going to glue those brown sides onto those uh, white hinges so just make sure that you will line all sides perfectly uh, and then glue the white hinge into half of that brown paper once you do have done one side uh, do exactly same on that opposite side the process of creating this base box for small boxes it's very simple it's just gluing those brown uh, edges so once i had done those long sides uh, i moved to uh, working on a top and bottom of my future box so i did glued uh, the bottom of this box again with the same process i lined up the paper the perfect way that in uh, the process i will have perfect box i glued that white hinge uh, around the edge of that base decorative paper and then same way i did glue that opposite side again using those white hinges i did glue it on the perfect spot where this short side should be then i moved to reinforcing process so i just put the glue on the half of this uh, top side and i glued folded it and glued it down same way same way i did reinforced the opposite side and then i was able to move to creating the actual box so i applied the glue on those small white hinges and then i glued those hinges around those long sides as you can see here on the video same i did on that opposite side again add the glue on those small white hinges and glued them around those long sides i did use always my bone folder to kind of press the gluing gluing spots just to make sure that it will everything hold together once i had this done uh, i just glued those long sides together with this gluing i did reinforce 
uh, this side and again I did press uh, all that uh, side just to make sure that all gluing will get stick properly I have to say that uh, the creating all images for these boxes took me quite some time just because uh, I wanted to make sure that everything will sit nicely and I'm really happy with the final result. Uh, once I had this large box done, I grabbed small boxes and I started to place them exactly the way where they are uh, decorated or uh, shown on that decorative paper inside. And I love the result. I love that uh, the boxes are sitting nicely and it looks amazing. The same way I have created the second box and I've been left with small uh, images which can be used as uh, little notes. Then I have printed out another papers for front and back of this box and also spine and frame. First uh, I started to work on the frame. There is a part in the middle which should be uh, cut out and this could be used as a tag or a note card where there can be written uh, some message for the receiver of this advent calendar and then in the window I did glue the acetate piece to reinforce this this frame and of course to create a or make it as a pocket for uh, gluing this acetate piece onto my frame I did use double-sided tape and uh, all these pieces which I did fussy cut out I did distress with my distress ink from Spectrum Noir that rustic brown here you can see that front and the back images and then uh, the spine and I moved to the part where I'm going to be gluing the spine onto my box. As you can see, the, my print on the spine has uh, kind of like double uh, or both sides print. Uh, I did use the brown paper. I actually uh, printed uh, two papers, one with that spine image and other with the brown, uh, brown background and then I use that brown background paper uh, to create collage on that spine image paper. Hope that makes sense. Uh, with this collaging, I did reinforce this paper for the spine. Uh, then I folded one half or one side of my spine, uh, which will be kind of like starting point, and I applied the glue on that uh, folded part and I glue it to one box and this it's quite easy to do and you can glue any side of your box or any box to that first part just to make sure that you will don't glue uh, the other box upside down <laughs> just that <laughs> that is probably the most important with this process then once I had glued one side uh, of the box I've moved the opposite side of the spine I uh, kind of like matched where I should fold that spine and as you can see uh, I did fold it on uh, my table just really easy process nothing too complicated do not get stressed out about this one just follow uh, your paper it will navigate you really nicely I did put the glue on that folded part and I glue it over my large box with this I had done the spine uh, for my box and uh, I had prepared uh, everything what I will need to put uh, the front and back of my box together but before I will do that I need to create a closure for that closure I have print out uh, the paper where uh, which is called embellishment on that paper you can see image which does have cut inside and also don't forget to make double-sided print on this paper because you will see both sides on the closure where there are half of Christmas tree or that three which I am distressing right now so don't forget to make a double-sided print on this paper it's very important if you will don't do it you will have to color yourself the back side so here you can see that I did fussy cut out the spot on that image and I do have everything distressed 
and prepared for folding. So first I did fold it, uh, the parts where there is half of the tree. The tree will be closure for this box. So I did fold it the parts right behind the tree that will be put together. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off the camera or of the view of the right spot. Uh, I didn't notice that. I'm sorry for that, that I'm uh, kind of like down on the picture. Uh, here you can see that I placed the uh, image with that uh, middle middle spot, cutted spot, over my box. And I tried to place it in the middle of the spine or over those uh, this box and folded the sides just like this one. Uh, nothing too complicated again. Uh, Every single cardstock is a little bit different, so here it was better to keep it this way that you will fold it your paper over the box and you will apply the glue after you will fold it uh, over your box just because, uh, as I said, every cardstock is a little bit different, a little bit different thickness and you can have a little bit bigger or a smaller box. Uh, and uh, if I will create there some uh, lines which you should fold, uh, it maybe will don't sit properly. So I think that this way, where you will fold it uh, over your actual box, it will be the best to create the closure. Uh, I'm keeping the three uh, inside of that of that image, uh, just to make sure that it will be sitting nicely and it will uh, actually work as a future closure the way it should. So once I had this glued down, uh, I was able to move to uh, put the images for the front and for the back on my box. And this process is very easy. Also, I need to uh, make a little note. If you like sewing effects, make sure you will use your sewing machine and do any kind of decorations. Uh, on these papers, do your sewing, add there maybe some uh, stenciling, add there maybe some texture with uh, paste. Do anything you want before you will glue these images on the box. This is just a video where I would like to share how it should be put together. Also, if you like uh, layering of images, you can print those images few times actually the front image i will say not this back image which i am going to right now because on this image will be glued the frame but on that previous image on that front image if you like to create kind of like layers which i'm gonna do here with that uh, lamp uh, you can print out the image of the front cover a few times and fussy cut out the image of the box and of those berries and kind of make layers something like what i'm gonna create here with that with that lamp that i did use the foam uh, tape and i kind of like um, popped up or yeah yeah kind of like popped up the frame of that lamp to create dimension so if you like to create something like this just to just print out the front image with the box a few times and fuss it out the pieces you want to pop up. So here you can see uh, like, uh, how I am putting together the lamp and how I am creating decorations for that frame. Uh, these I will glue it on my frame and before I will glue it down, uh, I'm going to make sewing effect. And here you can see that uh, I do have the uh, sewing effect all around the frame and all, all around the window as well. Uh, once I had glued all these embellishments down, I used uh, glue which I put on those hinges and I did glue it down uh, the frame to that back cover. The gluing this frame down, uh, when I was gluing this frame down, I did realize that maybe if I will want to add in the back cover, maybe some journal, I will definitely have to make the sides a little bit bigger, kind of like more dimensional. So for that uh, part, you can also use these prints, which I just showed you, which are 
uh, reinforcing or decorative strips for my box but these strips can be used also for making dimensions on that back uh, frame if you will want to add inside maybe some little journal so just just small note here uh, as you can see uh, i'm using these uh, blueprints you have them in uh, the files as well uh, blueprints to decorate the sides of my box uh, not just long sides but also top and bottom of these boxes uh, i made these blue strips uh, on the print like on the full full page of the print and the cutting the right measurement i'm leaving up to you just to make sure that uh, you will have it in the size of your exact box because again as i said before uh, the thickness of the boxes can be different and you know the, it's always best to have those final decorations just exactly as you want them so you can cut the pieces from those strips and uh, print those strips as many times as you want you can make few layers you can make them uh, as a pyramid uh, from the biggest to the smallest and do really few layers of these blue strips so do any decorations you want again you can uh, add their sewing which i didn't i forgot kind of <laughs> also on that front cover i forgot to create those layers but play with those images the way you want you can uh, use your embossing folders and add there some embossing so do any kind of decorations you want on these uh, on these papers it's always just a base it's always just to kick your uh, your imaginations and your creativity and uh, i hope this collection or this advent calendar will do it the right way that it will uh, give you some great inspiration and here you can see my final box for advent uh, i hope that this box uh, will be interesting to make and will be amazing to give uh, this closure is quite funny to create and it's really awesome to create and i do believe uh, it can it can be uh, like awesome surprise you can add to those boxes anything you want here you can see those small images i do have many here in that frame as the leftovers but i would like to talk about them uh, a little bit so here it's a spread of the boxes of little boxes uh, always you can be navigated by the images you can see inside that's why i made those background papers just to give you some hint how you can put your boxes inside but if if you will mix uh, the layer that's totally up to you uh, here i do have those decorative uh, images which are on the prints i'm gonna pull them out and also here as i said you can uh, reinforce or extend this gap here with those strips uh, and create a little dimension in this pocket i'm gonna pull out those uh, small images so from those small images this can be used as your base for writing message and you can place it inside maybe with the picture of your family or with that small uh, small journal as i said we do have here loads of uh, other images you can use this one as a season greetings here or here on the top and put this one maybe here this is for the 25th 25th of december all this so use this one as decoration anywhere you want you can place it also here on the front cover and these little images they can be placed as another decoration here inside of the box here on the spine and also here on these uh, blue papers you can place them here as another decoration and another layer to put a dimension there is so many gorgeous adverts from the past 
which were being uh, which were being used in the past in uh, newspapers and some of them they can fit in the boxes itself so you can add that to your boxes as you can see these can be at inside and they are really in the size which can fit inside as you can see here that it's same size uh, like the depth of of the boxes so that's with those and these are exactly same the size is the small enough to fit into those boxes and you can use them for writing notes uh, if you don't want to use them for writing notes you can use them to create your cute little uh, tags for gifts for your christmas gifts and create a little decorative tags by using these images Just to add there, add there from to and place it to your Christmas gift and you have beautiful image and space where you can write uh, to who you are giving your gift. So that's all for today. This is my advent box. I really like this, uh, these colors and all that collection which I used inside. I hope you will like it too and I hope my tutorial wasn't too much confusing and it, it will be easy to follow and actually easy to make. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending your time with me. Uh, I wish you all a beautiful day. I wish you all a wonderful time before Christmas. Do not get stressed out. Uh, enjoy that time. And uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. And I will come back soon. Bye.